Previously on the electrifying adventures of DJ Jeffy Jeff. I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to a new member of our workplace family. Coleman here will be sitting in Jeff's seat until he returns. Now, any access issues should be addressed to him as we revamp our security protocols. What? No! 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 What the? Oh. Hold it right there! Ah! What did that say? Your access to these sites has been denied? No, I shall not be denied! Please contact your access administrator! Coleman! Again! God sucks! Sup, Linz? What's the deal? You be looking stressed. Oh, hey, Ad Rock! Just this new guy's getting all up in my shiz! You know what I'm saying? Hey, you say the words and I'll be messing him up. I take you out, boo! Yeah, that's right. You walk away, sucker. Leave my boy Linz alone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am so going to get in trouble for that. I will end this after one more. Back where things started. <laughs> Hey Steel, it's Jeffy Jeff. How's it going? Oh, pretty goodish. Can you and Steel look into this Hollow's End horse? Oh, I knew that seemed suspicious there. It's the same street name from where the Mono Knight was from, eh? Oh, so you were uh, seeing he had some info about the jockey of the, the Hollow's End horse? What was weird was the week that Dirk Sturfry was attacked, he was missing from the races. The, the attack! It sounded like Hollow's End Rider. I was so glad Dick Stirfry will be okay. I've been enjoying watching you follow my dead leads. Oh, you're smarter than I thought there, Mono. But we found you, didn't we? Mono, drop the matches! That's a poor choice of words. Clear! <laughs> that wasn't even my knockout punch! <laughs> Jeff, is that... Yep, we got him. Wait a second. That's not a bird, nor a plane. It's robots coming down from the sky. Great. They must be those new mail delivery robots. Now even my delivery job is obsolete. Wow, that sure is a lot of robots. Episode 5, Attack of the Drones. <laughs> what the? Attention citizens, we have an important message to deliver. Robots delivering messages now? At least that's different than the paper. What a town is now on lockdown. Return to your home immediately. All those who oppose the new regime will be destroyed. What? What regime? <laughs> Destroying the tannery building. Citizen, return to your home. I don't think so. Citizen, return to your home. What are you? An integrated circuit. I can handle those too. Citizen, this is your final warning. What the? I can't override its circuit system. What? I just used my phone in episode four. I'm almost out of electronics. DJ Jeffy Jeff drops his newspapers and pulls out his pedometer. How about a little of this? DJ Jeffy Jeff notices the killer robot standing underneath the streetlight. Initiate kill move. Stay right there. DJ Jeffy Jeff aims for the top of the streetlight and throws his pedometer. Gotcha! <laughs> Citizen, surrender. Citizen, surrender. How many?
many of you are there? Ah! What's happening? Fleeing from the group of killer robots, DJ Jeffy Jeff jumps on his bike and heads to Lindsay's house. Lindsay will know what to do. He's the hardware specialist. In fact, he's head of hardware. Robots are terrorizing the city, attacking people, overturning cars, and starting to destroy buildings that don't fit the new ruler's liking. At this point, we don't yet know who this new ruler is, but it seems as though his robots are only sparing high-efficiency businesses. These robots are even too much for the paper boy. Is it? Huh? Ah! Lieutenant Dang, host of the Grand River News, filling in for Patrick Mullaney, who's been tied up by robots. Literally. These robots seem to have a police state objective. We need to join together in peaceful solidarity against this blatant breach of our nation's rights and freedoms. It seems that these robots are attacking any arts, cultural, or old method ideology facilities. They are then destroying them and imprisoning any resistance. It is yet unclear who is behind this, but seems like a political message. Just then, robots break into the radio station. Wait! It's Jeffy Jeff. You gotta let me in. Something crazy is happening. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Oh, what's what's going on? Just let me in and I'll tell you. Oh, okay. Come on up. Linz, press it again. I missed it. Open it when I press it. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Shh. Early. Lance, they're everywhere and they're attacking everyone who rejects them. We gotta go or stay or hide or... Who's attacking everyone? The robots! Ooh, I really like their song, Prester John. But wait, why would they attack everyone? No, actual metal robots. Right, yeah. Have you been drinking out of any mysterious water bottles again lately? Linz, I'm being serious! Okay, let's just say there are these killer robots. Why don't you just use your powers and stop them? I, I, uh, I can't control these ones. They have some circuitry that is unlike anything I've ever tried to overload. It's almost, it's almost like... Hello? Oh, hey there, Linz. Oh, hey, Steel. What's up there, good buddy? Oh, not waking here, there, am I? Nah, Jeffy Jeff already did. Oi? Yeah, he's here, telling some pretty interesting stories. I think he's been doing the E again. Linz! Oh, well, if you can, come uh, come on over here right there, away. Dug up some information on their co-work of yours that I think you need to see. We'll be right there. We gotta go. Steel has some information on Coleman. What? We can't leave. Why? The robots! <sighs> I think I see what's happening here. You've been under a lot of stress lately. You've lost your job, but don't worry. Things will work themselves. Every code in Diablo is to work, terminate, and destroy. Linz, get down! Jeffy Jeff grabs Lindsay's lap breaks the bulb and attacks the robot with electrical charges. Ah! Lynn, this isn't working! Quick, give me your phone! Jeffy Jeff throws Lindsay's phone right at the killer droid's head. Is he dead? Is he dead? He's dead! Go get your bike. I'll call Steel back. We'll tell him we're coming. DJ Jeffy Jeff and Linz arrive at Steel's alleyway.
Come on! Oh, hey there, fellas. Quick, get inside. Adrock, get away from the window. Listen, guys, we need to flee the city and lay low for a while. Jeff, Jeff, you speaking what? It's a robot apocalypse out there! Before we goes fleeing out city, you need to hear what Steve's got on Coleman. But, well, that's right there. Hear me out. But, it's important. But, ah, okay, what? Well, get this. Coleman lied in his resume. He didn't have any experience as a security specialist. That's the big news? What? What is that? There are giant robots destroying the city outside right now, and you call this big news. He ain't done, sucker. <coughs> it's important because he didn't even you need the job in the first place. He's inherently wealthy, but couldn't touch the dollars till he was 18. Oh, growing up, he claimed to have a groundbreaking quantum computing theories, eh? Nobody took him seriously because he's so young and never went to university. When all the startups came to town, he tried to propose the idea to the emerging companies. They all rejected him, eh? I remember that in the news! Liz, you would have been like 10 years old when that happened. Yeah, it was an interesting time in the quantum field. We all have hobbies. Oh yeah, well after a few years he uh, received them inherited funds there. I believe he continued to develop his quantum hardware. I think so too! He's kept everyone out of the server room because that's the communication hub of the city! That is probably how he's controlling the robots! With quantum hardware! Why didn't I think of this? Well, that their power outage and diversion that the Mono Knight and only did was perfect time for him to set his plan in motion. And that's why I couldn't overload the robot circuits. Wait, you overload what? Uh, nothing. So then if we want to stop them, we need to break into the server room. Okay, but we can't fight off these robots and break into the server room by ourselves. Let's go tell Hank and the police can take him down. Sucker, pits be cowards. If what you say is true, they probably fled the city by now. Well, maybe so, but we should at least take what we know to Hank. Steel! Will your van get us to the police station? The robots seem to be after Lynn specifically. We'll need to keep him hidden. Oh, Betsy, will get us there. Let's go. Okay, first things first. We need our code names. Watson, give me your location. Over. There are giant robots taking down the museum. They're heading straight for me. I... Watson, are you there? Come in, Watson. What's happening out there? Open up! Open up! Hank! 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 Oh, hey, fellas. Quick, get inside. Are you okay? We're fine, Hank. What's going on out there? The phone is going off the hook, and I can't get a hold of any of my officers. Have you tried answering the phone and asking them? I told you, those sucker pigs got up and fled the city, like the cows they be. Ah, hey, Rock! Oh, Hank there, we got some news you need to hear. There is a robot apocalypse happening right now! And they be destroying all the odd tubs throughout the city. Oh, only one way to stop them there, that's, uh, that's, uh, old Goldman. We think he's in the server room at the government building. Oh, okay, let me dispatch all remaining units to the government building. This is more of a state of emergency. Take this phone, call the Mounties, and ask them to come help, and that Sergeant Hank formally requested it. All right. The Mounties number is on that board. So I know the number. I got the Mounties in my fate five. This is Sergeant Hank requesting the assistance from all units to report to the government. Um, uh, hello? What's up? Does this be the Mounties? Yeah, this is Ryan uh, from the Mounties. Sergeant Hank had me give you a ring. We've been fighting the robot apocalypse here. We need some help. You guys in? Hey, yeah, we'd love to fight the robot apocalypse, but uh, we have a show in uh, Vancouver tonight, so sorry. Ah, oh, shoot. Wish you could be there. It's gonna be sick. Alright, forget about it. Peace. What did they say? They ain't coming. They say we's on our own. We can do this. We just need to take down Coleman by breaking into the server room. It's tough because even if they get past the robots, Coleman has tight security at the government building. I have an idea. Hank, give me your keys. We need to release the Mono Knight. Suck it. What? Are you crazy? Surely you can't be serious. Hear me out. He broke into the government building before. These robots are tearing apart the city and his family too. Worse come to worse, he'll divert the attention of the robots off us and onto him. We'll have a better chance with him than without him. 
Jeffy Jeff goes to the Mono Knight cell. Mono Knight, you were right. Technology has gone too far. The robots have taken over the city, including the Mennonite community, and are going to destroy everything. We need your help. Yeah, like, I will totally help too if you let me out. Yeah, me too. Shut up, Ash. Like, it's totally your fault that we're even in here. Nah, I don't need you guys, just Mono Knight. I'll give you my word that I will fight these robots with you. But once the robots are gone, I can't promise I won't come for you. Fine. Hank, get Lindsay. I've got a plan. Lindsay Adlock and Steel arrive at the government building in Steel's van. Hey, there's the god robot in front of the door. Get going, Linz. Um, are we sure that everyone's in position? I mean, it doesn't hurt just to wait a little bit longer. Oh, we confirm positions. I'm in position. Go now. <laughs> Lindsay exits the van. Jeffy Jeff flanked the guard robot. <laughs> Linz, are you okay? What? Oh, yeah, we got him! Nice work, everyone. Nice work, Mono Knight. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Jeffy Jeff, Lindsay, and the Mono Knight run to the back of the government building. Okay, Mono, get us inside. It's simple, really. Kill the electricity and the door is open for you. The Mono Knight walks over to the electrical box and ah. centers on the <laughs> Um, the door is still locked. <sighs> Make your own door. The Mono Knight, Lindsay, and Jeffy Jeff out through the building. We'll take the stairs! This way! After climbing five flights of stairs, the Mono Knight, Lindsay, and Jeffy Jeff arrive out of breath at the floor that houses the server room. Okay, stay low. This way. There's the server room. Okay, Mono. How did you break into the... Hey, where's Mono? He was right behind us. I knew we couldn't trust him. Why would he leave us? We're so close. Robot, <gasps> quit, under the desk. This corridor is secure. That was close. Jeff, you need to help. I'm so scared. Lumberg? Coleman's gone rogue. And I've even seen that vigilante, the Mono Knight in here. Okay. <gasps> We got, we gotta hide and get out of here. Well, we've come this far. We need to keep going. The server room is right there. You stay here, Lumberg. Well, okay. But Jeff, here, take my phone. Do whatever you do with it. And good luck. Thanks, Lumberg. You ready, Linz? But how are we going to break into the server room? The Mono Knight said he knew how to get us in. Well, uh, we'll make our own door. We won't need to. Ah! They'll open the door for us. Where were you? I was on the floor below, lighting a fire underneath their ass. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't extinguish any fire and turn that alarm off. Mono Knight tackles Coleman through the door. <sighs> Quick, before the door closes. DJ Jeffy Jeff and Lit run inside to face Killing robots and Coleman. Kill Drake! Attack him! Initiate attack mode. Mono Knight and I will take the robots. Linz, you take out Coleman. I will destroy all the obsolete and wasters of time! And Lindsay, you top the list! Free but rash! Ah! Stop it! If only I had a sword of his candor! Take this, sucker! Lindsay 
falls to the ground after a swift right hook from Coleman. You thought you could beat me? Let's bring in a few more guests to this party. Coleman opens the door to the ten killer robots waiting outside. We need to take out the main hub! Take out the hub! As Jeffy Jeff points to the quantum server, the Mono Knight pulls out his last horseshoe. Just before he is about to throw it, he's grabbed by one of Coleman's kill bots. No! Jeffy Jeff! You need to get to the server! No! We won't leave you behind, Funk! Jeffy Jeff takes out Lumberg's cell phone, cocks it back, and throws it at the robot holding the Mono Knight. <laughs> releasing him from his deathly grip. Suddenly, Jeffy Jeff faints due to overexhaustion. The Mono Knight throws his final horseshoe into the server. <laughs> Outside the government building, Steel and Adrock notice the explosion and fire and enter the building. Adrock, <laughs> Oh, the in here, eh? There's Lens. Was Jeff and Jeff? <coughs> Lens. Lens be alive? Oh, Lens got a pulse there. Uh, <coughs> he's uh, he's unconscious. Hey, we got to hurry. This place is burning up real quick. Adwalk drags Coleman by his arm. Oh. <coughs> Look at Lens. Oh wow, he's a he's a big old boy, eh? Adrock and Steel pull Lens and Coleman from the burning building. Just then, the building crumbles. No, Jeff and Jeff! Jeff and Jeff! He was the only person who believed in me! Believed in me when I was in jail! He fought for me! This was tight! I can't believe he's gone! This be a sad day for Watertown! As the smoke cleared, Steel noticed something on the nearby hill beside them. Hey, Adrock, uh, it's, it's, it's Jeffy Jeff. He be alright, he's unconscious too. But how'd he get out? Well, where's the Mennonite? After the attack of the killer robots and the subsequent explosion at the government building, Watertown slowly began to rebuild. The devastation that the city received opened up many new jobs in the region, and the city began to expand and thrive. Jeffy Jeff was given his job back at the newly built government building again, working alongside Lindsay, head of technology. Hey, Linz, can you pass me that string bit alpha tester? I sure can, good buddy! Good to have you back, Jeffy Jeff! You were so much better than they gave you credit for. It's no like they considered you a bad. You were considered. Getting frequency change to 102.7, Steel and Admiral continue the Mono and Mono show and got DJ Jeffy Jeff's electrifying sessions moved to follow their show, thus creating a 1, 2, 3 punch on the new image CKMS. Following Moses Bogart's Straight Out of the Pit Punk Rock Radio. You were way before your time, a genius in the skies. No like they didn't recognize all you had done. You wouldn't recognize it all. A genius in the skies. I'm DJ Adrock. Oh, and now you right here be uh, DJ Steel. We got Duff on the program tonight. Even Duff returned to Watertown, where he continued his spoken word but also regained his position at Watertown University. Coleman was locked up in the vacant cell once occupied by the Mono Knight. 
After that evening, the Mono Knight was not seen again. Although no remains were found, many thought that the unlikely hero burnt in the flames of the government building. Well, good to meet you. I look forward to my time here. I enjoy consulting and upgrading our chain company of the Earth's Firewall. You continue your user support. It's for the server with the server, don't you worry about it. I will be watching. Why do you continue that? Your job is up. But you must know that there are ways of optimizing the desktop to reduce computer lag. What I will do. What I will do. for the week from reaching actual power. I need to get back to work. And I suggest you do the same. All art is a waste of time. You really need to focus your time to be more efficient. I had better get back to work now.